Hello, welcome back. The title of this lesson is called Writing and Comparing Fractions. This is part one. It's exactly the same concept that we've learned in the last two lessons, but in this lesson, we have to first write the fraction down before comparing the fractions. And so it's just one little extra step there, but the basic skill is essentially the same. So let's get started with our first example. We want to compare this fraction, whatever it is, to this fraction, whatever it is. So the very first step is to write down what the fraction is. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we have 10 pieces, nine, 10 total. So we have eight out of 10 pieces. So this fraction is eight out of 10. That's what I'm putting here in, above the blank here, eight out of 10, eight, eight tenths. And this one is one, two, three, four out of five pieces. So it's five pieces total, but I only have four of them. So this is four fifths, the fraction four fifths. Now the question is, is 8 tenths bigger or smaller than 4 fifths? And so you look at your drawing because we have it all here. This shaded area turns out to be exactly the same area as this one here. This shaded amount is exactly the same as this. If I could grab this and flip it over, everything would line up perfectly. So actually these fractions, even though they look different, are exactly equal to one another. And the reason is kind of like, it kind of makes sense when you think about it. Here I have 4 uh, over 5. So I, I, I cut this pizza into five pieces, but I only take four. So in the other pizza, what have I actually done? I've doubled the amount of slices I've cut the pizza into, five going to 10, I've doubled it, multiplied by two, right? Five times two is 10. But at the same exact time, I've doubled the amount of slices I took. So in one pizza, I had smaller slices, a smaller number of slices. In another pizza, I had double the amount of slices, but I also took double the amount of slices. So I have twice as many slices total, but I took twice as many slices. So actually I have exactly the same amount of pizza, right? And you can see from, from the drawings here that these there two of these pieces will fit in, inside of here because I've doubled the amount of slices total. The thing I really want you to understand, as I've been saying over and over again, is that fractions can look different, but they actually can be the same exact thing, even though they look different. All right, let's take a look at our next problem. What is our first fraction? We have one, two, three, four, five, six total slices, but we only have five. So actually the fraction here is five out of six, five sixth. What is the fraction here? One, two, three, four, five out of six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here we actually have five out of ten slices. So five tenths compared to five sixths. Which one is bigger? This one is bigger. This one is smaller, so the arrow always points to the smaller uh, number there. So we say that 5 sixth is greater than 5 tenths, and the way we would write that down, you know, without any pictures, is we would just say 5 sixth is greater than 5 tenths. Now I cannot figure out just by looking at these numbers which one's bigger and which one's smaller. I can't do it, I'm serious. So you have to draw a picture. There's also other ways I can show you later, but by the picture you can see that this one is bigger than that one. All right, let's take a look at the next one. First of all, what fractions do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 slices total, but I only have nine of them. So here the fraction is nine tenths. That's the fraction. And what's the fraction here? It is one, two, three, four pieces, but I only have three. So it's three out of four pieces. So I'm comparing nine tenths uh, as compared to three fourths. Which one's bigger? Well, you can see here, that the um, amount of material here is actually way bigger than what I have over here. So this is the smaller amount, so the arrow goes to the smaller number like that. All right, so the way that we would write that down, you know, without any pictures, we would say 9 tenths is greater than, that's the greater than, 3 fourths. And it always points to the smaller amount, which is what we have right here. So. What I want you to do is, is as we go along here, even after you watch me work them, I'd like you to work them yourself. Let me take these down and put up our next batch to get more practice. All right, here's our next fraction. What we have here is a fraction here as compared to a fraction here. What is this one? One, two, three, four, five, six total. Uh, and I only have four, uh, four out of six, essentially. So the fraction is four out of six, four sixths, okay, for this one. And here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I only have seven out of eight. So I have seven out of eight for this fraction. So which fraction is bigger? Well, if you look at it, this one has way more shading than this one. So this one has to be smaller, and the arrow goes to the smaller points towards the smaller uh, uh, fraction. 
So we say that four sixths is less than seven eighths. Four sixths is less than seven eighths. All right, moving right along right here. What do we have for the next one down here? We have this fraction as compared to this one. We have one, two, three, four, five pieces total, but we actually only have three of them. So we actually have a fraction of three fifths for this one, three out of five pieces. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. We only have five out of those, so five out of a total of six pieces. So we're comparing three fifths to five sixths. Which one has less? This one has less. This one has more. So this fraction is smaller and the arrow always points to the smaller fraction. So we say three fifths is less than five sixths. Three fifths is less than five sixths. All right, let's take a look at the next one. What do we have? So we have this fraction compared to this one. Well, this one's really easy. It's just one half. It's one out of two pieces. So let's write that down. And this one is one, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's four out of ten pieces. So four out of ten pieces. So which one has a few, a, a less amount, a smaller amount, is this one right here. So the arrow points towards the four tenths, and we say that four tenths is a smaller fraction, or is less than one half. Four tenths of a pizza is definitely going to be less than one half of a pizza. All right. Here's our last one for this batch. We have this fraction compared to this one. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have one piece out of five. So we have one fifth for this fraction. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have two pieces out of ten. The fraction of two tenths compared to the fraction of one fifth. So you, you know, try to think which one's bigger and they start to look like they're the same. So you can even get like something to measure it if you want to and just look at at this and see how much of it is there. And then I can put this right over here and see that basically it's exactly the same amount. So two tenths, which is this amount, is exactly the same as one fifth. These guys are actually equal. So we say that one fifth is exactly the same fraction as two tenths. Now, before we go on, it's important to kind of see why is that the case? If we start with one out of five pieces, right? And compare it to two out of 10 pieces, what happened as we move from here to here? Well, I double the amount of pieces. I went from five pieces total to cutting the thing into 10 pieces. But at the same time, I'm not holding one piece, I'm holding two pieces. So I double the amount of pieces, but I also double the amount of pieces I kept. So I double the total amount of slices, double the amount that I actually kept. So actually I have exactly the same amount because I did two things. I doubled the total amount of pieces, but I kept double the amount. So these pieces just happen to be smaller, but they add up to be the same thing. So we have three more problems. We're gonna take these down and get you more practice with writing and comparing fractions. All right, for our next problem, here's a fraction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight out of nine, 10 pieces. So we say that this is the fraction eight tenths, eight out of 10 pieces. And this is one, two out of four pieces. So two fourths two fourths, two out of four pieces. Which one seems to be bigger to you? This is a whole lot more material than this one. So this one is smaller and the arrow always points to the smaller number. So we say eight tenths is greater than two fourths, which is exactly what it is. Eight out of 10 pieces of something is way more than two out of, well, I shouldn't say way more, but it, it is significantly more than two out of four pieces. All right, what about the next one here? We have two fractions. How do we go ahead and count the first one? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and we have two out of six pieces. So we write this as a fraction two, sixth, like this. And this is one, two out of three pieces. Two out of three pieces. Which one's uh, smaller? This one's smaller than this one. So the um, arrow is going to point towards this one like this because it's a smaller number. And we say the fraction two, sixth is less than the fraction two thirds. Two sixths is less than two thirds. Now for our last one, it's not like a tricky question or anything like that, but what fraction do we really have here? We have one, two, three out of four pieces. So we have three out of four pieces total. And here we have one, two out of three, four, five. So we have two out of five pieces total. 
Which one seems to be the smaller amount? This is the smaller amount. So the arrow always points to the smaller amount like this. And so we say that 3 fourths is greater than 2 fifths. 3 fourths is greater than 2 fifths, which is exactly the case. So in these lessons, we've learned not only how to compare the fractions, but first we had to write the fractions down. That's the difference uh, between this lesson and the last lesson. So we're combining skills. We're writing down what the fraction is, then we're also comparing them. I cannot tell from looking at this which one is bigger. I cannot tell from looking at this which, which one is bigger. At this stage of the game, we have to be drawing pictures to tell which fraction is bigger. And that's what gives a lot of students problems because I can't look at two fractions and just know which one is bigger, usually. But by drawing pictures, we can always find out. So solve these yourself. I want you to practice and make sure you're getting all of these questions correct. Then follow me on to part two. We're getting more practice wrapping up the concept of writing and comparing fractions.